adding and subtracting decimals. To add two or more decimals, we need to line them up. Let's take a look at this example. We want to add 2.4, want to add it to 3.6. So to add these two, we need to line them up. So write 2.4 plus 3.6 and just add them up. 4 plus 6 is 10. So write 0 and keep 1. Just put the decimal point. 1 plus 2, 3 and plus 3 is 6. The final answer is 6. 2.4 plus 3.6 is 6. Next example. Let's say we want to add 3.46 plus 1.7. To add these two, line them up. 3.46 plus, now we want to line them up, we need to, to put the decimal point exactly below this decimal point. So it is 1.7. As you know, we can add zeros to decimals to the right place and the answer, the value is the same. For example, 1.7 is the same thing as 1.70. Now adding these two is easy. 6 plus 0 is 6. 4 plus 7 is 11. Just write 1 and carries that one to, to this place. 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 1 is 5. The answer is 5.16. Now let's subtract. Let's say we have 13.9 minus 4.83. To subtract these two, line them up. So 13.9 over, so you can line them up, 4.83. Now we can add zero here and just add them up. Zero minus three, so let's just borrow one from the neighbor, it is 10 and that becomes eight. 10 minus three is seven. Eight minus eight is zero, decimal point. Three, you need to borrow one, so it becomes 13 and this becomes zero. 13 minus four is nine. The answer is 9.07. Let's take a look at another example here. Let's say that this time we have 18.05 and we want to subtract it by 3.18. So again, 5 is smaller than 8. We need to borrow from the neighbor, but it doesn't have anything. It's just 0. So borrow from neighbor's neighbor. So that becomes 7. This becomes 10 first. But you need to borrow 1 from it, it becomes 9, and this one becomes 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. 9 minus 1 is 8. Decimal point. And 7 minus 3 is 4. And bring down that 1. So the answer is 14.87.